welcome back to the channel. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to make creamy mash. Our first step in making creamy mash is to select the potatoes. The potatoes I'll be using today are red potatoes that you can find at any supermarket. And these potatoes aren't going to mash themselves, so let's get on with it. Now that our potatoes are peeled, we need to chop them into cubes. We're going to go for roughly about two inches. This is roughly the size that we're looking for to create our mash. Our next step is to put these potatoes into the pan and get them on the boil. At this stage, I like to add a couple of cloves of garlic. We just need to literally give them a squash and just quickly a little bit of a cut like that. And we pop those straight in with the potatoes. We want our potatoes to boil correctly all the way through. And the only way to do that is to use cold water straight out of the tap. And we're looking to cover the potatoes within about, uh, with an inch to spare. At this stage, we've got the potatoes and garlic in the water. We've just quickly popped those on the hob. We're putting them on a medium high heat. Once the water's come to a boil, I like to just reduce it down to a medium simmer and then I give them an extra 10 minutes at this pace and this is the time that we like to just give them the fork test get a potato out of your pan you put a fork through the side of it if it breaks up like so then it's perfect and ready for mashing so first off we just get rid of the the water by pouring the potatoes in there once we've removed all of the water we simply put the potatoes back in our pan. We're gonna put those back on a low heat for about three to four minutes, just to remove any excess moisture that's currently in the pan. So we're gonna start off with 200 milliliters of milk. We're gonna add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And finally, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of double cream. And that's gonna go in the microwave for a minute. Once we take the milk and the butter out of the microwave, we like to just give it a quick stir to make sure the milk and the butter is mixed up together nicely. We never put cold milk or butter into warm mash. So at this stage, I've just added a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt, and we're gonna go on and mash these up to get all those pieces mixed together. And then we place a small amount of the liquid in there, like so, and give it a mash. And then we add a little bit more. And there you have it, the perfect mash, corner stall for any meal. And all that needs now is a little sprinkle of chives. And look at that. Absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. 